Yes, great. Uh, okay, so hello to everyone and I'm uh, from from my part as well and I'm uh, glad to see so many from all over the world. And um, as Timo told, I'm going to talk about the border area biodiversity network that is being um, founded with the aid of this uh, BioKarelia project. Um, so I will present the idea of the network as well as some steps on how to get um, the network uh, going. Um, shortly as a background, we've we've had a good presentations about um, the the playground we are talking here about the the Finnish Russian border, um, we, which uh, mostly creates the uh, green belt of Fennoscandia, uh, which again is part of the larger uh, European green belt. Um, so there are large nat nature reserves close to the border on, on Russian side and then smaller um, reserves on the Finnish side. Uh, but the area is uh, ecologically quite fragmented and the understanding of these interrelationships um, between the Russian old growth forests and the smaller uh, ones in Finland is quite uh, limited, even though some of the reserves are quite well studied. So, so there is um, knowledge and, and data, but it's scattered. Um, and uh, there would be a need um, to gather the existing information and, and see where the knowledge gaps are. And, and there's also people that are interested in working with uh, in this area, um, doing research and, and so on, but um, they would also benefit from uh, more or better interaction across the border. And uh, this, for example, would would uh, possibly help in in getting um, different kind of, of funding. Um, so so there is a need to gather existing uh, information together, and and also advance the collaboration and interaction uh, over the border. So this is the main idea um, behind this. Um, border area biodiversity network. And so the purpose for for this network is um, to collect a group of specialists that are interested in the border area. Um, it's nature, research and development um, to collect and distribute existing species and border, border area information together uh, to improve understanding of species diversity and it changes in the border area. Then to collect um, possibly some new data, fill in the knowledge gaps and advance the uh, research. But then also to provide information, uh, for example, to the scientific community, education organizations, um, regional and local planning, planning organization authorities. And um, the network, um, the aims for it um, are to combine uh, various approaches uh, to increase the, diver the diversity information. So field work, remote sensing, citizen science, uh, forest fires, archives, etc. Um, um, to understand better the interaction between these old growth forests on, on the Russian side and, and the smaller areas on Finnish side. Um, to understand better the forest uh, species distribution and diversity patterns. Um, to develop diversity tools for connectivity studies and regional planning. And then of course, hopefully creating new research initiatives and uh, overall raising the visibility of the border area biodiversity and and the all the work that has already been done uh, in this region and um, the network uh, the aim is not to create um, this kind of um, network 
for for these um, experts just for the sake of the project. Rather, the aim is that the project will just be an aid in starting, uh, in getting st this network started um, and, and getting it organized so that it can get continue also after the project period. And, and um, there are certain things that the BioKarelia project can offer for the network. Um, it can offer background data from Finland and Russia for these diversity studies. Um, and then these resources to gather people and organize meetings and, and webinars. Um, and an online platform, uh, this house, house space platform um, for discussion and distribution of, uh, of uh, results. So ways to um, meet uh, people across the border and, and um, ignite these discussions um, that can then lead, uh, for example, to future uh, studies. And then uh, cooperation on development of maps and their distribution, and then, for example, uh, uh, creating these new research project using, for example, this EU funding. Um, to who is this uh, network for? Um, we think that the network would benefit from experts from different fields. So species, forests, conservation experts, but also uh, people from management and administration uh, uh, will be needed and, and their networks and knowledge. And of course, then this geographic information system expert, for example. And, and the idea is that there uh, will most likely be a smaller core group of active uh, specialists uh, working and then surrounding them will be uh, other experts that are interested in in um, this network but maybe um, cannot uh, be so actively involved but then can be asked to join whenever um, it is seen uh, mutually uh, beneficial and uh, then on the wider sphere outside uh, is then people who are interested um, may not be currently uh, able to join, but uh, maybe later on they, they can find their role. So um, there are different roles um, and, and of course the network and the actors in it themselves uh, will then uh, create uh, these different roles and everyone can then suit, uh, choose what suits uh, them best. And then shortly um, about uh, or some kind of a roadmap on how to how to go forward. So currently we are in the first stage um, of uh, collecting this sort of uh, core group of ac active members. Um, the idea is, is to first, with a smaller group of people, um, get the idea um, of how to work and, and what are the, the goals uh, in more, more detail, um, what to aim towards. And this is happening through discussions um, with, with the members. Um, so using this uh, house space platform, small group meetings, um, networking meetings. Um, and then seeing, seeing, like I said, the, the different goals on personal institutional levels, and then seeing how those go hand in hand with um, the opportunities from, from this network and, and the project. And also the idea is um, to define the forms of action, uh, possibly divide into smaller groups, um, and then uh, do a some kind of a 
plan for for the future steps. Um, then in the second stage, um, there will be uh, the the work plan uh, on how to move forward, um, and and of course uh, we hope that the network will then broaden more uh, experts will join and the network will uh, start uh, to be uh, more like a network uh, with arms going to di different directions and uh, and then finally on the third stage um, we hope like i said that um, this network will continue uh, being active even after the BioKarelia project uh, will end um, at some stage uh, next year. And um, hopefully it will ignite uh, or spark new studies um, and new research, new collaborations. Um, so I end here. Uh, uh, my presentation and I, now I uh, invite you to join the discussion um, on uh, this presentation. What uh, thoughts did it uh, spark? And uh, if you would like, we would uh, be uh, eager to hear your ideas on what kind of collaboration and networking would be needed in the border area. And and then we can uh, from there on move to the discussion on uh, if you have something to ask about the previous uh, presentations or any comments on those. Thank you. Thank you, Hilma. Now the heaviest part. 